Are we missing out by always flying over countries instead of stopping off along the way? In this series, I'll be showing you exactly what cities have to offer in less than 24 hours. There is absolutely no one on this plane. So after an empty flight, we finally made it to Dublin. So each flight cost us five pound today. So the flight here was five pound and the flight back was five pound, meaning obviously a 10 pound return for a day in Dublin, very cheap. We've got about 12 hours here, so we're gonna see as much as we can. This chap right here has never had a Guinness in his, his entire life. Looking forward to it. Time, isn't it? Yeah, it's the Guinness. best place to have it. All the bosses made it. here actually cost us so things in Dublin are expensive but you've got to come and get a drink in Temple Bar it's kind of like a rite of passage whenever you come to Dublin you have to do it and you should be getting a top-notch Guinness That's nice. thoughts lovely proper nice smooth big up Guinness Exquisite. Exquisite. We've just come through Dublin Castle, we're just coming through the little courtyard bit now. You can kind of see the old bit of the castle there. Um, we'll really call it a castle, but it's a bit more like a courtyard, isn't it? It's just a bit, just a bit courtyardy. Oh, bit courtyardy, but we're just having a wander. Had a nice little pint of Guinness at Temple Bar. Um, gonna go grab some lunch, and then plan for the day is obviously to head to the storehouse. Take out the plastic, Tom. Back to Go on, take it out of plastic. Okay, so we just had a little bit of lunch, which ended up, we wanted a pizza, but the only thing we could end up getting was a, a ham and cheese toasty, which as I'm sure you've seen, came in a little plastic wrapper, which is a bit weird. Um, not sure I've experienced that level of freshness in a while. Um, nevertheless, we're now headed off to the Guinness storehouse. It's a bit touristy and I've been before, but it's definitely a must do when you come. Just for the sheer view at the top of the place for 360 bar or I can't remember the official name of it. Nevertheless, you'll be seeing it shortly. Guinness storehouse is up next.
No drinking it. Well, I'm, I'm not old enough. <laughs> Give me the aromas. <laughs> But it's a nitrogenated beer, so your slavery you get across the top. And hopefully you'll notice some of the notes that we were talking about between 1977 and 1990. Uh, so alcoholics. I'm going to ring the bell. All right. Yeah, we'll go with it. Uh, same please, Guinness, thank you. Just come up to the gravity bar at the Guinness storehouse. Um, you can claim a pint up here uh, once you buy your ticket, and you also get some fantastic views of the city. Massive view. This boy can't split a Guinness. Apparently, on your first sip of Guinness, you're supposed to split it so that you get it just between the heart and the, and the letters. And if you see there, I'm happy with that. Yeah, but it's all right. If you haven't realized yet, and in case you've not seen any of my videos before, um, we probably count as alcoholics. But it's fine, it's fine. We're in Ireland, there's the only... So, um, got another beer, and uh, might as well continue to enjoy it. Oh my f God, who do you think you are? Huh? Huh? That's very cute. There's other people up there. That is cute. Feed it a bit. Yeah. Uh, we'll come back. That'd be why. I was going to say, the cheek of him. I think it's time we give up on a Dublin adventure, considering the rain. I'm dripping. Dripping already. We've only ran 30 feet. Time to head home. So instead of going outside and braving the storm and exploring the rest of Dublin, um, we're going to get pissed again. Time for more pints, Tom. More pints, Glenn. You can never go wrong with more pints. Drink responsibly. So we just finished up in the Guinness storehouse and finally we're about to start making our way back towards the airport. Oh, sec second attempt. Second attempt. The rain has finally calmed down past a tropical storm and we are now just going to get on with it, head home and uh, yeah, we've had a great day trip, haven't we, Tom? It's been a lovely little trip, a pint an hour. Not bad going at all. Um, just hope if you ask me, that's the epitome of health.